Check me out. Check me out. Put a camera right here. Right here. Well, I must get it. Okay, I'm gonna get it started. All right. But you're gonna have to tell the story. Okay. Okay. I right, got your chin together. Just. Oh boy. I'm brown, so. It's my real clear. Can you make sure you use all the empty ones? <laughs> Don't hit me in the head. But... All right, y'all. So we're gonna do a quick video, real quick, and we're gonna have to make it up. a video. It's gonna be. We're gonna try to make it quick. It's kind of funny. So this video, as you see, in the um, description, we had a home invasion yesterday. And it was a different type of home invasion. Okay. You crying? I cried. It's a different type of home invasion. Okay. Um, and so before Nala hears us talking about it, she's gonna run down here and she's gonna like spill all over the story. So we're trying to tell the back story that led up into the story that happened. Okay. Um, so it happened yesterday. Um, I think around this time yesterday, didn't mm -hmm, it? Mm -hmm. So you yeah. wanna you wanna tell them what happened? Well, so yesterday I decided to go to the store and get a new tree because the house is lacking in plants. So the tree is lacking in plants, except we have. Yeah, okay, we huh. really have like. Uh, yeah, I don't even know. Anymore. Maybe twenty one, maybe twenty one. But we're lacking plants. Okay, we're and we have a. Plants, so. And we, and we have, have a Christmas tree. Right. Yeah. Right. Doesn't matter. It's are small details. So um, I was like, I'm gonna go get one. My sister got one the other day, and it's called a Norfolk, Norfolk Island, Island, Norfolk Island pine. And so it looks like a Christmas tree, except it's not. Um, so they said it's a Christmas tree that grows year round. So I'm like, oh, cool. It was so cute in her house. I'm like, I'll go get one. <laughs> So I go to home oh, because you told me you was going to sort to get some fertilizer. Okay. I got fertilizer. I know, but you had other I ideas. I got fertilizer. So, <laughs> so look how the truth comes out on camera. See? I got it. How y'all get the truth out of her? <laughs> so I go to the store. I really do have to get fertilizer. My, my majestic palm upstairs is struggling. And every day I'm like, I really got to get some stuff. Well, for, so for real, that was really it. But to be honest, since I saw my sisters, it has been in the back of my mind. I'm like, I really want one of those. Anyway. So I go to the store, I go to Home Depot, go inside, it's beautiful, everything's uh, full of poinsettias, and they got all these island, the island uh, furs that I wanted, and it's cute because they have them in, um, they have them Christmas decorations on them, but they're like $6 more. Like, first of all, why would I spend $6 more on a plant when I could just buy dollar decorations and put it on my plant? <laughs> Too much, right. right, right? Anyways. Right. So anyway, so I get the plant, um, run a couple other errands, get home, uh, I think everybody else was already upstairs. And all and I were upstairs. I was So when I left, yeah, I left working, everybody else kind of chilling. Everybody mm -hmm. was just kind of doing their own thing. I get home, I put it up, I situate it, I take a picture, send it to my mom and them. I'm like, it's so gorgeous, blah, 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 blah. So I'm sitting on the couch. I never allowed Ella to sit on the, on the couch. But yesterday, she was chilling so hard. I'm down here by myself. Ella's on the other couch. And so she, she thinks she wanted the kids, yeah. Yeah, she does. So she's, so I'm, she's like falling asleep. Then all of a sudden, she gets up and she darts into the party. and I hear her but I was like okay I don't know what she's after okay I've never heard anything and so for, usually sometimes she gets into this little weird mood like you just like I just heard in the beginning of the video but she has an attitude she kind of runs up and down the stairs like trying to like get attention she'll so, like whine up yeah she's like whines and she runs up and down the stairs so I didn't know if she was having an attitude or whatever so I didn't get up didn't respond to it I just kind of kept sitting here and then all of a sudden about maybe about, honestly about five minutes later it dawned on me she never came back, but I haven't heard her doing anything. So I get up to go see what she's doing. She's in the corner of the foyer, which is, you know, the beginning of the entrance this of the is, house. And this is where the new plant was sitting. Yeah, the new plant is sitting up in the, in the beginning of the house. I put it in the foyer. And so she's up there, and she's like, I, so when I immediately saw her, I just fussed, just like you would do with a kid. So she's up there, and she's like, 
I, so when I immediately saw her, I just fussed just like you would do with a kid. Like, stop playing in there. Like, come out of there and stop playing. And so it's so cute because even in her little castle, she looks at me and she starts meowing. She's like, Grandma, listen, I got to tell you what's going on. She's like, meowing. She I'm always likes to explain yeah, herself. Yeah, she's trying to explain. She's she'll just She'll say when she's sorry. She'll say. Yes. She's like, she likes to explain she's herself. So cute. Okay. So she's just meowing, meowing, meowing. And she's like looking at me and she's like looking back up and looking at me and looking back up. And I was like, what are you doing? What is it? What is it? So then I stopped fussing and I lean around to go look. Cricket was as big as her head. I've never seen a cricket that big. In Man, my it's life. bigger than the biggest roach you've probably ever seen. It's like a bigger than a dragonfly. It was bigger huge. than a wasp. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to give you the... like I would say an appendage. Like I would say like your your pointer finger or your thumb. Like it was huge. It was thick like the thumb, but it was big. It, it was bigger a, than that, but it thick was like a... the thumb. Anyway, so I'm I'm down here by myself. And I go to yell upstairs because by this time the cat is determined, like she's trying to figure out how to get to it. And I'm not fussing anymore because obviously I want her to get it. Then my weird brain goes to, well, if she gets it, she's going to try to eat it. It's too big to eat it, but we're not going to be able to take it from her. So then on top of wanting her help, I admit I didn't want her help anymore because if she goes and runs off with this cricket that's big in her mouth, I'm going to have a whole heart attack. And then what if she grabs it and runs with it and it's still alive? And, that's what, I mean, I feel like that's what she was going to do because she's a cat. They she hunt thinks things, it's dead you know? and it's not really not. It's, a lot of animals will play like they're dead. I mean, yeah, Ella does. Insect, she, Ella, Ella does. plays like she's so, sleeping. I mean, and we're going to show you this on the next video. Yeah. So anyway, so I lean back and I start walking backwards because I'm trying to keep my eye on it. And I start calling I think Danny. I should get your cookies. You said you wanted them to be like soft. Yeah, I want them to be like soft, like moldable. One time at band camp, I back up because I'm like super scared. So I'm backing up in one spot and I'm like calling for Danny and all, but I was so scared. They said my voice sounded little. <laughs> they said my voice didn't even sound like my voice. And I was like, um, I said, can you please get dressed to come down here? There's a bug so big down here. I don't know what to do. Please come down here. Please come down here. Nala comes flying down here first. And Danny came down here like shortly behind her. Ella's in the foyer now. Now it's obviously it's flying at some point. I never saw it actually fly, but it has to have been flying because by this time she's like trying to get it on the other side of the wall. So by the time they come downstairs, it's full on craziness. This cricket is flying around. Um, so the cat's trying to get it. It's jumping away from the cat. So she's trying to jump on it. She's trying to grab it. She's put her little paw on it. She picks her paw up. It will start attacking her. It was jumping on her head, jumping on her body, jumping on all over the cat. So we're all sitting here watching because we kind of really want her to kill it. But it's like doing, it's, it's not hurting her obviously, but it's annoying her. So it's jumping all over her, trying to get her to stop and, and whatever. So then it flies in the kitchen. Now, let me be honest and tell you guys, I didn't know that crickets fly. I did not know that crickets fly. I know they have wings, but with a body that big, how does your wings support your body? I still have this question. If its body was that big, why do the little tiny wings make it fly? I have questions. It's actually conditioned in my hair. Um, she does a deep condition before she actually does my hair. I'm going to get the two strand yeah, twist. Two strand twist. So I, I'll probably show you guys the before and after. Um, I'm pretty sure Ebony doesn't want to. She doesn't look like she's in a filming mode. Right I don't now. mind filming. I just got to put my pants together. You know, I sit around with my pants on done all day. But um, anyway, so. So, so now I know she's kind of to the, toward the end or toward the, you can she's in the middle of the video, but I want to tell you guys how funny it was to see this grasshopper fighting Ella back. He's literally jumping. Ella has him to the floor, pinned down to the floor. He wiggles his way out of from Ella's paws. And she, he jumps up. I would say it's a he because he was fighting. He jumped on top of her head. He pounced on the top of her head, jumped off. <laughs> pounced on the top of her head, jumped <laughs> off. Cat. And he was hitting her in the ear. Then he jumped on her head and she's trying to figure out what's going on. And because the grasshopper is so small, Ella doesn't know where it her. went. Yeah. So it it's small. when he when when it when it's small compared to her. Okay. So the the way when she when the grasshopper jumped on Ella, Ella was like where to go because she didn't feel it on her head. She she's, didn't uh, feel it on her fur. back. She has yeah. long long furry hair, and so she's like where to go. 
And his thing is like literally like, hey, let's do this, let's fight then. He's like hitting her, <laughs> bopping her. Yeah, and Nala the thing and is, Danny are standing there I, we didn't have like, a phone like mm -hmm. with the way that she called me. We didn't have a phone to record. Ebony probably left her phone over here. I left scared. both yeah. of my phones upstairs. Nala left her phone upstairs. I literally, I'm like, I, I gotta either find a video that's related to this. Hopefully, someone has another <laughs> video where it shows a grasshopper and Attacking a cat fighting because this grasshopper was like. You ain't about to whoop me today. You, you got me wrong. Me. You got me wrong. And the thing about it is that Ella has so much control over the situation. I felt like she did until that grasshopper came from under her palm and started trying to hit her in the eye, hit her in the head, try to hit her ear. Like, oh was God. literally trying to fight her back. Yeah, it was crazy. Looking. So then the noise and the commotion made because, okay, you, you want to jump okay, in? Because that's when... That's when the when you talked about the flying, the grasshopper started flying all over the kitchen. Oh, I yeah. mean, hitting the roof. He, he was smacking the, the roof. He's just going this way, that way, and at the same time, I don't have anything in my hand. What did I have? In my I hand? threw a towel at you. She no, she no, that's, but I had something else in my hand. I knew. No, I, I asked for a piece of mail, like a big piece of yeah. paper, yeah. so I could swipe it. Well. Emily had a better idea. She had so many great ideas. And normally I'm the one that's coming up with all these ideas ideas in the moment. But she was on point. She's like, I said, give me a piece of mail. She's like, I'm going to give you a towel. You, you know, so you can swat it. And then she went huge. Then she went and got a fly swatter. Old yeah. school, y'all. Two for a dollar. Two fly swatters. Two for a dollar. And dollar everybody had towels in their hands. So everybody had a towel in one hand. They had a fly swatter in their hands. And I and had a he bro. was And un unfortunately... I mean, fortunately, we are a family. We don't. We love animals. We're animal people. Hey, we don't care if it's a spider, house spider, a roach. We really try to escort it out of the house where we they're don't not. Have roaches, no, I'm just saying. Yeah. Bugs. In general, period. Period. We, we try to no, take them out. Because in a typical household, if a person sees a roach or a bug or or whatever, yeah, they're gonna yeah, kill, yeah, it. kill it. But we try to. We don't. We try not to. We don't want to. She just put it doesn't want to kill anything, and I don't either. Yeah, I don't even like when outside. people say kill two birds and one stone. Why are we killing birds oh. with a stone? Let the birds be free. Let them live. Let them do it. Like, I don't. So, we're, we're the same way when it comes yeah. to certain things. So, he, and plus, even if it, I mean, we have situations where we have to kill bugs or whatever, yeah. but that thing That's was too big. He was huge. Yeah, it's I not going like, to. You kill him, he's going to. No. I mean, that he would be just, more trouble for me to try to kill him. And clean and it And then up. it's going to make that loud squishing bone noise, like ASMR. Like, <laughs> like, I don't know, if, you know, it's almost like when you kill an animal that you don't want to kill, but you have to because it's in your house. And that's the only choice you really have. Insects. She's saying insects. Oh, my, she's saying animals. We don't kill animals in the house. Animals. Insects in the house. Well, that's what, that's what I, I know. I oh, animals. Animals, animals does sound a little generalized, yeah, don't yeah. it? Yeah. We're killing animals in the house. So, insects. <laughs> in the yeah, house if there's so a big, yeah. you know anyway so but we've never had a grasshopper in the house so the first as soon as i saw how green and beautiful it was so green it was and beautiful, beautiful and beautiful vibrant green. and i said you brought this in the house didn't you uh, yeah, because so let me tell we you, don't have a great around home depot with this plant in my arm resting against my head the whole time <laughs> if this thing had gotten on so he public, was on your jacket Maybe he, maybe he was. In, he, he obviously he rode in. Clearly first of all, he would have been sitting in my car because you rode, you took my car. I took your car. My car is always the first car to come out. I so. went back to. Uh, <laughs> you, you went, went back, back to get pieces. pieces. Had this thing had shown itself, I'd have been on the side of the road waiting for Danny and then to come in my car. I would not have gotten back in that car. Are you kidding me? I would have been so mad at you. Oh, you'd have been mad. I'm, Won't you just no. swat it? Take your wig and just Too take big. it off. Do you saw how afraid I was in this house? You imagine me sitting in the car that confined to something that big? Just get home. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not, I, look, I there's another you. story. It's another been, story time we have for you guys. And it's going to be Dennis. another video. Not about the praying mantis. It's about the bird. Oh, that's me. Mama bird. <laughs> My mama bird. We actually have to finish off this story because we said it was quick, but it's a it's YouTube quick, okay? Yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, that's not even a good part. We still got the other part. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, so this crazy thing. So Ella was done fighting because when I jumped in, you know, I jump in, Ella's like, okay, she, she, she got she's, it. She's so cute. She said, backed Ella, up. come back. I she said, backed she's up like, and went and sat it. on the corner of the couch. She and she like, watched us fighting with it. <laughs> and so she, I said, Ella, go back, go back. And she thinks I'm fussing at her. I said, go, go get him. Go, yeah, go get him. Because I know I'm going to tell her because this is the thing. Nala plays in the house. Nala plays in the garage. Yeah. 
and we'll have the, the door open in the house and sometimes a fly will get in. So yeah. the fly will go from like the back window to the front window and Ella oh, will chase it. Mind. Ella she will chase them. So I, I normally just hype her up. I'm like, go get it. Until she starts trying to mess up the blinds or do yeah. something crazy. Sometimes her cat instincts go crazy yeah. and she doesn't know how to just, you know, be yeah, cool. Like one time we were sitting here chilling and she, she dove for a bug and her whole arm went inside of the blinds. It's almost like if somebody like dumped the ball and they put their arm in a goal. Like when they <laughs> dumped the ball and Come here today. it was Now look at this hair. It's about twenty two inches of hair. I got I didn't feel like going back upstairs to go get my hair bonnet it's thingy, so oh, this is what we used to use anyway. This is, use back. this is the story of a girl. Back, so um, so anyway, normally I'll hype Ella up, you know, to go get the bug. But this time she sat back. She said, you know what? I didn't got my got attacked. I didn't got my bug whooped too long. Yeah, she had been attacked by the bug herself, so she wasn't she wasn't having it. No, she won't focus on it. I mean, mm -hmm. she she's gonna let us deal with it. She, she looked, you know, didn't come back at all. She sat back and she watched me, but I think she really thought she thought I was telling her to move because you were telling her to move. So when she saw me, I think she assumed I was going to move. Her to so she got out of the way. We were all scared. Right. It so yeah, El yeah, that's true. Because Ella was in the middle of it. Ella yeah. was. It was me. It was myself. It was Nala, and Nala. Ella was in the middle, still trying to go. And I'm like, hey, well, wait a minute. We all need to have the same plan. So, yeah. you know, Nala's running to go get the towel. We're getting all this stuff. Oh, now I can't hear. You don't need to hear like just keep talking. ASMR in my ear. So, <laughs> so, then, so then at this point, when it goes crazy, it goes nuts. And he just flies up and he goes back toward, in the foyer to the front door and he just disappears. And the last place I saw him was like against the wall. Cause, so like we have a pantry in the, in the restroom and in the middle there's like this thing, I don't know, some candle or whatever, thing on the wall. I'm thinking either he went there or he went in the front door. The front door we have a plan and we have a lot like of a, greenery in the yeah, house. We like have, say, is the yeah, we have the we have the chi a chi home. So yeah. we'll have, you know, sage and all that stuff. So anyway, I'm like, oh my gosh, he's hiding in either on this stand in the plant right by the or against the wall. So the he's so, or he went he slid underneath and went to the restroom or in the pantry. So we're I didn't in all wanna, those places. She's so like, we're I'm in the restroom. I open up the door in the restroom. We're trying to like we're throwing stuff. We're like moving stuff so he can come. He never came. And me and Ella were chasing me and Nala were chasing a grasshopper that we can't even find. Okay. Well, let me just tell you guys real quick. So because she came impromptu, she's downstairs in her underwear. I'm in and, underwear and bra. And a bra. And this it's kind of something how, degrees outside. Yeah. So at this point, she's like, let me open the door. So in case it comes out, we can just swat it outside. So she's standing in front of the door in her underwear. It took me a while to even get toward the door because I'm thinking it's going to come out and attack me attack like it attacked Ella. Because uh -huh. he, because when he went up to the ceiling and he started mm -hmm. doing that circle, and he was sitting in the ceiling. He was like, what's up? Anybody can get it. Anybody can get it. Anybody. Mm -hmm. He was not going to get caught. <laughs> So, so, yeah, so yeah. she's standing here, so finally I go and I go. I, I said, I gotta open coat. the door. I said, I know people are gonna see me. I said, but I gotta get. So I finally maneuvered my way without being scared or nervous or whatever. And I opened up the door real fast. And I'm still trying to move stuff around. The, the stand is by the door. Yeah. So, the so I'm thinking, okay, if I hit the table, hit the plant, he'll just fly out, go outside. That's the that's the plan. That's the plan. So we're chasing this area. Okay. We moved everything. We're throwing stuff. We're shaking. The we're, we open up the restroom yeah. door. We check the floor. We we check the decorations behind the paintings. Yeah. I'm telling y'all how to catch whatever bug is in your house. Look Man. behind the paintings because they because right. they'll disappear and you'll never know where the hell they are. Because they know their life is in danger. Right. Here, so. so I'm I'm like. The last thing would be the pantry. So Nala and I are at this area for at least how long? How long are we chasing this, this one, one area? One area? Mm -hmm. It's about five minutes. Five or six it felt minutes. like it felt, it felt like fifteen really minutes. It's probably about five to six minutes. It felt like fifteen minutes, and then and then all of a sudden, tell them what happened. So I'm looking around because I'm like, he's he's still somewhere because he's a cricket and he's that big and that loud. We would hear him if he's moving, so he's still. He's not moving at all. So I start looking around. And I'm just standing still, just looking around, I'm looking behind me, looking at the ground, just looking, every, just looking everywhere. And y'all, next to my feet was this cricket. He's sitting behind the glass vase on the floor where I'm standing. So they're standing about two feet ahead of it. I'm standing right next to it without even knowing that I'm standing next to it. So I guess she started using her... She just started looking I just at every silent. detail. I just went silent. I'm just looking because I'm like, he's totally still. 
He hasn't moved one bit that we would have heard him. But he's literally hiding behind the base. He's hiding like behind watching us look for him. Base, watch us look for him. So I said to them, don't move. What do they do? What do they do? What we do? Any, any comments? Okay. Do we think that they either A, stood still and didn't move, or did they start to move? That's B. Yeah, so. B, did they start to move? C, did they just run off and did do they crap? Run and start running around the foyer like crazy people. Which one, y'all? We're gonna be like Dora. <laughs> you guessed it! <laughs> You did it. Yeah, you did it. It's B. Yeah. It was B. So they're okay. backing. Both of them are backing. So up. because we're looking at the front door. and Thinking it's ahead the of them. The They don't realize it's behind them. I didn't say where it was. I, I said, said be still. Don't, don't move. move. Because if they had moved and then startled it, it would have jumped on them. They would have gone that way. It would have gone that way. It would have been a horrible situation. And I ain't going to lie. I said several times, don't y'all, don't hurt my plants. Because as much as I wanted the insect gone, I didn't want my plants broken and messed up and tarnished so it was like a double-edged sword trying to get it out get it out safely don't ruin my plants anyway so everybody's backing up i'm like don't move and they're still backing up i was like you guys don't move so let me tell you so not so long. all i did was i and, and i was i started moving back and up but then Wait, after a while i stopped can moving we, can we mock how nala did yeah and i turned around so i mm -hmm. just turned around and looked at ebony because she's she's like it's behind I mean, she didn't say yet. She said, don't Because I was just trying to get them to not move because... So we were both moving. Nala was moving. I was moving. We were both backing up. And all of a sudden, she said... coming straight towards me. All of a sudden, she said, don't move. She said, what'd you say? Freeze or something? Yeah, I don't remember what I said exactly. I was trying to get them to stop moving. And so when I said it the very last time... She said, freeze. If y'all ever see... We're going to put a clip. Let's go. There's going to be a gift that's going to... She was like... While she was walking, it was like... She was like a robot shaking her lip. Her teeth were chattering. It was like every part of her was scared yeah, straight. Was like, she was scared, but she was steady trying to move. I've never seen I, that I much I think fear. what happened was when she when she grasped <laughs> about the situation was that it must be behind me. Yeah. It must be. Or it's on me. I just think the idea that you guys didn't know was just messing with you. And I wasn't trying to do that. I was just trying to get them to stop so we could figure out a plan because it's right here. Now y'all are over here. So I'm Nala kind of, when she froze up and she turned around, she went towards She kind of went like, towards, yeah. She went so she you. was away from it at this point. At this yeah. point, Nala was like a foot, two feet yeah. away from it between her and the base in the middle. She so was. so then she did that. That was funny as hell. Go, we're gonna find and once again, Ebony, captured. you know, we all work well under pressure because with the cooking and all that stuff, we work well under pressure. Mm -hmm. And the first thing Ebony said, every, everything you said was a good idea yesterday because, you know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I take my bows. And so she said, let's vacuum it up. And we have like this $300 vacuum. It's almost, sharp, almost $300. Really and it was like, we're going to vacuum. Here's the thing. Yeah. We're going to vacuum it. And I was like, good. So she grabbed the vacuum. And Ella scattered the vacuum. So didn't tell me you want to get rid of Ella, start the vacuum. No, so you just got to bring it over. She, well, she's going to look at it. Yeah. She'll yeah. look at it until it's time. Till it turns going, on yeah. and she run. So she brought it over. We're trying to figure out because if we start it, it's gonna scare. If you startle it, you know. I didn't want with, it to, with the with, with the noise of the vacuum. Mind you, Nala's still on the other side of this point because I was just like, that's not. Nala was stuck. Nala had Next put herself behind the front door, <laughs> and she did not even want to move anymore at all. She just said, "Forget it. Can I just go? Can I just? Can I just? Can you just let me out? Can you?" And I'm like, just stay there, open the door, to go outside, because just... if he flies, we can have the front door open. So hide behind the door. She didn't want to do that. So we started the vacuum. And so I gave her the hose. I'm like, get as close to it without touching it, but like whatever. I said, just try to bring it close. Yeah, you, tell me you when, because it's a really good suction. Just tell me when, tell me when, tell me when. She didn't tell me when, but when I saw her take two steps, I figured she was close enough, and I just hit it. I wasn't ready, but I made myself. I knew you, you weren't ready, button. ready. But, but if you had waited to get ready, it might have gone bad and jumped. And all I just saw was it going the opposite direction where Nala was. <sighs> My plant's getting broken. I saw it all. I yeah, because Nala, she, yeah. she was not having it. And again, she's not even like a fearful person, but she was not having this. Anyways, so turn the vacuum cleaner on. It's like a couple seconds. She's like, is it in there? Is it in there? Is it in there? Like, but the thing know. is, I sucked it. The first time I sucked it, I'm right. This is the grasshopper, right? Mm -hmm. This is the suction. That's how big it was, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> this is the suction. <laughs> I'm like pretty much all over him. He ne never sucked up. He's just, he's like, 
hold on to hold the on ground to the, or something. I was like, what the hell? So I had to kind of like knock up a little bit, kind of like knock up yeah, his feet oh up God. for him to suction up. And I heard the suction, but it's not like, even still he was trying to fight his way down. So then I put the suction, I, yeah. I, I, I put it toward the ground. So the suction was suctioning in the ground. Mm -hmm. So it couldn't come out the other way. So I'm like, we're trying to look inside of inside the- Inside uh, of the, it's like a bag with a bag. So we're looking inside of the vacuum, trying to see, couldn't see. Mind you, it's full of stuff. Cause you know, we got a cat. We, so vacuum we vacuum twice every a single, day. I vacuum every single Upstairs day. Upstairs and downstairs. And every single day because I like the floors to look like nobody lives here. So anyway, so we're looking in the vacuum, looking, looking, looking. All of a sudden, I swear to God, I think it looked bigger in the vacuum than it did it in was real bigger. life. He was huge. Even then, I, I felt like, I, I'm like, I should have took a picture. Did I? I don't think you did. I don't think, it, no, my phone was upstairs. Nobody my phone was upstairs. Took any pictures yesterday. We so like, yeah, he was in there and he's like, he's like, oh, what the hell is this? What the hell is yeah, this it was dust? Just sitting there. So like, it's just, around. it's just the vacuum stuff that comes up from the vacuum and stuff Earth, like that. Dander, you know? Yeah, just random stuff. And he's like, what the hell is this? So he's like trying to <laughs> doing this inside of there. I was like, okay. I'm thinking, throw so, the whole vacuum away. Jesus Christ. At this point. Now she said something like that. And I was like, girl, you know, I'm just going to stuff like that. So then I go, mind you, at this point, I'm still in my bra. I'm in my underwear. Okay, no socks. I normally always have socks on. Did I have socks on? I don't think you had socks. No, you, you had socks on. I did? You had socks on. And I grab I give her my Ebony's coat. jacket. I, it's big green. and it's green and it's heavy. Trenchy it looked like you'll do coat. some crazy. I love the coat, crazy. I, I rock it every day. I must, I don't care. And... And she gave me that one. So then, because it's so big, it's, it, it, it's big on I me too. So then, but I couldn't close it. I mean, it was it was 38 degrees. And so I opened up the garage door. I took the bagless part out. I opened it, put it out in the middle of the lawn so it can release itself. He never did. He was apparently hurt. So Nala and I are out there. We had it's dark, pitch black outside at this point. Because we didn't, you know, the sun went down in the middle it's of the It's dark, yeah. It's dark. Yeah, it's dark now. It literally the same time yesterday. We, we tried to get a stick. He was tr did not want to go. He, so we tried to pry him out. He didn't want to come out. Took out the trash, tried to pass out time, let him do what he wanted to do. He did not. He was just like, get up off me. We kept getting with the stick. So at this point, I what did I end up doing? I got a toothpick. No, I got toothpick. Oh, we used a... If you guys are celebrating birthdays, quarantine style as you should be, you guys know that there's like um, little um, signs you can put outside. There's the like a little steak signs. stick. Yeah. So Nala was like, well, can we get the one we use for the balloons on my birthday? I don't know what she was talking about. I was like, the I don't know. I said, just go get it. So she went and got the little white one. The little white one. The little plastic one. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's So white. that's the one, because the first we used a stick, and he was like, get up off me. And I was like, Nala, stop playing. It's cold. And I thought she was playing, but she didn't want to hurt him. I was like, stop playing. It's cold out here. And she, a, Nala has on jeans in the shirt and i'm literally in, in underwear underwear I'm, I'm, I'm wearing some tommy john underwear and a bra and literally and it wasn't like a full sports bra it was a sports bra but it had a lot of slow job yeah slow cut so i'm literally cold and i'm never really cold even though my iron used to be low but it was cold like annoying cold yeah. and she planned so i'm like forget it let's just move it let him out um i used a stick and i got him out and he's apparently hurt because one side he's like not wanting to move, but he's alive. I went to see where he was today, and I didn't see him. Oh, he didn't see him. No. So I'm hope you know. Hope he called his homeboys. He called 911. Oh, they came out. They came and they helped came him. Out Hopefully the ants didn't on. take him or nothing like that. Oh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> so that. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that concludes our yeah. home invasion Worse. by Worse. our grasshopper. That's, okay? that's not even the. Praying Mantis story. We gotta talk about the Praying Mantis. The Praying and the Bird story. The Bird story. They gotta hear that because they'll learn that's a lot still, about you that day. That's still a really funny thread, and that thread shows up every year. All the comments on that was absolutely crazy. You gotta find it. Yeah. You gotta find it. But um, yeah, that concludes our story time for today. Uh, as you see. My hair is being conditioned. It's yep. gonna wash. We're gonna wash it out. Twenty-two inches we're of gonna... hair back here, balled up, and I was like pulling off the edges. Yeah, so we're gonna get this washed out. I'm gonna get some two strand twist. It's a day and a half before Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. and so I've been trying to get all of our hair did before it's time to cook to tomorrow. Cool. Yeah. So.
anyway we'll see y'all on the next one Ciao. and we'll see y'all up before and after of the hairstyle should we yeah. should yeah, we send it to him like this video if you guys want to see the before and after as you see before it was crazy it was looking like nobody loved me I like although look although it's all really thick at the bottom yeah my roots so once it gets done it's like super thick i like that you like it, girl? I do. Okay. All right. So, anyway, let's see you on the next one. Ciao. Peace.